Hey Mike, it is time. It's fall. We've got the leaves changing and oh, what's yes. more festive than caramel apples? I agree. In this recipe, I'm so excited to show it to you because it's super easy. It does not use the little candies that you unwrap and mm -hmm. then melt down. This is homemade caramel and it stays soft on the apple so you can bite into it, enjoy it without it sticking and gumming up your teeth. Okay. And Janine so. Washley here with Cloverfields Farm and Kitchen and you have that recipe on our website too. So I do. After nine right. o'clock, Okay. This is the WDRB recipe. And the two problem, well, actually the main problem that people complain about to me about homemade um, caramel apples is that their caramel slides off. And here is probably what is going on. Their apples weren't prepared properly. You have to prepare your apples beforehand. Um, and the way that you do that is you dip them in hot water. So we dip them in hot water and then we, you know, we rub that hot water in to take the wax off. Mm -hmm. And the wax is what causes okay. the caramel to slide off. And then to ensure that um, every bit of residue is taken off, we take a vinegar soaked paper towel I've and we never rub heard it. Of this. Yes, the okay. vinegar takes this completely off from blossom end to stem end. I've never made these. Really? I they, well, they're you, just intimidating to me. Well, I always just get them in gonna, the store. So here we go. Well, here we go. <laughs> and then we have to dry it like our lives okay. depend okay. on it. You know, just get all that off of there. I was about to skip that. <laughs> Shame. So so the other reason why the caramel may slide off, and I've got a couple apples prepared for us already, okay. is um, the caramel may be too hot. And then of course, you know, it would slide off just simply because it's too thin. Mm -hmm. But our caramel is at the perfect temperature. And this is the other tip. Always have a thermometer, a candy thermometer, because that gives you total control. What's the, what's the temperature you want it to be? The perfect temperature is 245. Okay. That's the perfect temperature. Now, if you wanted to make these little sheets, you want to take it up to 248 or 250 because it stiffens it up a bit. Mm -hmm. And that way you can wrap your apples and that's make perfect for small yeah, children. Okay. Oh yeah. So we are ready to dip. And it's show me how it's done. Simply, if you want a little bit of the apple to peek out, it's more of a tilt, you know, type of thing like this. But if you want to hide the apple, then you go almost sideways in there. And whatever you do, do not get the caramel on you. Now, I'm a double dipper when it comes to caramel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's my I girl. <laughs> love to go in there again and get it in there. And then um, you just twirl, twirl, twirl. Okay. And then you have to have your candy ready ahead of time because once, once you've prepped your apples, once you've got your candy out, this goes pretty fast. And the ingredients for this is butter, brown sugar, lighter dark brown sugar, lighter dark um, corn syrup, and a can of the sweetened condensed milk. Okay. I mean, how can we go wrong with those wonderful ingredients? And then just right take it here. over to your bowl. Okay. And then Dip. you're dipping in some pretty little fall leaves yeah. that I found. And I'm dipping into mini M&Ms. But you could dip into like um, coconut, toasted coconut, and call them Frankenstein's toenails. You can crush up <laughs> Jolly you Ranchers. You have little, little gummy worms here too. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fun. for Halloween. Fun. I'll put one of those on mine. Oh, I will too. I'm going to kind of wrap him around the stem like he's saying, what have you done hey, here to my house? These were easy and fun. See, that's I, it. That's these all are, there have is. always been so intimidating for me. So. Hey, and I then, did it. You, you can do it with your kids. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you wanted this to be warm caramel dip, you would take um, one cup of this and stir in a half a cup of heavy cream and then just put it into a container that'll keep it warm at an ambient temperature okay. and you can dip apple slices in right. it. Right. All right. Thanks, Janine, so much for being with us this morning. You're welcome. The recipe for the caramel will be up on our website after nine with also some other apple treats. So That's check right. it out. Sterling? All right, ladies.